in this lesson I want to show you how to add a modal pop-up now this is a really great way for you to add uh, a pop-up where you want someone to click on something and then it opens up uh, on the same page so when you click on you see you have the button uh, modal selector you have uh, three options here you can make a button you can have an image or you can have an icon and what this means is that this is what people are initially going to see so if you want people to see a button to click on or an image to click on or if you want them to have an icon to click on then that's what they're going to see and then this is for the button texture so if you choose a button this is what uh, they're gonna see so we're gonna put click here to view and then you choose the button style let's just choose success and you can choose the button appearance let's choose outline and for the button size let's choose extra large and you can choose the, the shape here lift that around it you want it to be full width uh, we just leave it at no and then you can choose the button icon and I'm just gonna have grab this video this play and you can choose the position that the icon shows on the left side or the right side of it so let's just leave this at the left side and then this is where you choose how what you want to be displayed when people click on it what do you want people to see so you have an option here when people click on uh, the, the link or the button you chose it can either show an editor which you can put your content here it can show an image or it can show a video so that's up to you for you to choose so for now let's just leave this uh, as the editor part so this is the dimensions here that you can change uh, 760 by 440 and where do you want to select it to show we'll just leave it at the center and now let's click on apply so when you look at it on the front end this is what it looks like so when you click on click here to view it pops up like this and this is really good because sometimes you know you want to show people stuff if you have a lot of content um, and you don't want people to go to separate pages to view things uh, a modal pop-up is a great way for you to do that so this is the first way that you can do this is with uh, a content and using the button for this so now let's say you want to go back and you want to change this instead of this being a button you want to change this to an image we have to select the image that you want people to see and we're gonna grab this one here and we're leaving everything the exact same way and let's click on apply so now you have an image instead of a button so when you click on this image same thing happens so now let's change this from the image and let's change this to an icon and you choose the icon that you want uh, to show when people click on this so I'm just gonna kick, click that one and you can change the icon size here as well so let's put this one at 128 and I'm not changing anything in terms of the other settings but you can change the icon color so let's just change this one let's grab picking the colors here alright you can choose the background you can choose the border you can choose the width so what you want to do is you know if you want to experiment to see how it looks with the different um, settings in terms of the icon then you can do that so the pattern is pretty much the space and the borders that you put in but I'm just gonna leave the pattern here as zero uh, nothing is there now so let's click on apply so now you have an icon so when you click on it once again you get the exact same um, thing where you have a pop-up that is showing uh, this the content here so now we're gonna change this so instead of the this showing you can keep uh, the motor selector is pretty much up to you but I'm gonna put this back to uh, the button play video so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this where it says the motor content type we're gonna have this as a video and when you choose a video you notice that this automatically pops up so you have to put in it's gonna copy this here you have to put in the link for your video this only works with YouTube or Vimeo so if you have an external or any other type of media uh, you can't put that link here just only Vimeo or YouTube if you put anything else there it's not gonna work out so once you've done that you click on apply so now you notice you have this button when you click on this then you have a video pop up 
think that link there is broken. So let's change that link. Let's gra let's grab a different link. And we're going to change this link here. And let's click apply. So now when you click on this, then you have the video for that particular uh, show. So this is another way that you can add it. And then another way that you can add this, you can add an image. So if you want the pop up to be an image, then you scroll down. Or if you want to change this button, select it to be an image, it's going to keep the previous image you had there. And if you want this mode of content to be another image, you can leave that there. All you have to do is to upload the image that you want people to see. So click insert and I'm going to click on apply. So once again, when someone clicks on this, the same thing, it just shows them a pop up of whatever you selected here. So it gives you a lot of flexibility and a lot of uh, control over how things are shown.